So I thought it would be fun to do a bit of a crochet challenge on top of all my regular crocheting this week and I ultimately came up with the idea to see how many different tiny turtles I can crochet in one week. Now there is a bit of a clause to this because I'm doing this challenge on top of all of my usual crocheting which if you don't know I'm a pattern designer so I spend a lot of time crocheting, writing down patterns, making tweaks to them, improving them and ultimately it does take up a lot of my time. So for this challenge we're going to be seeing how many of these little turtles I can sneak into the middle of my day when I have a break from pattern designing and all of that. So I'm not sure how many I think I'm going to make. We're just going to have to see. And of course, I'm not going to push myself too much because crochet injuries are a serious thing. You have to protect your hands and your wrists. If there's anything that I've learned over the past few months, it's that taking breaks from crochet is so important to the overall health of your hands and your wrists because wrist pain and hand pain is seriously no joke. If you've experienced it, you know it's not fun. So I'm definitely not going to push myself too hard. Hard. But with that being said, I'm still very much excited about these little turtles. I chose this pattern specifically because it is really small. They're really quick to work up and I just feel like it's a really fun way to mix around colors and make a bunch of different types of turtles. This pattern is called the Tofu Turtle and I'm going to have it linked in the description for you if you are curious, but it's such a fun little pattern. I love the size of it and I want to say they work up in like 30 minutes or less. So I feel like it's going to be pretty easy to squeeze them into the cracks of my day when I I do have time. So I think with all of that being said, we're ready to jump into our week of crocheting tiny turtles. I hope you're able to grab a crochet project and crochet along with me. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos from me. I have a lot of fun stuff in store and I'd love to have you around. All right, let's get into it. Let's see how many we can crochet this week. So I feel like the best way for us to start off is just by making a classic turtle with a green shell and a little brown body. And my plan is to use these colors here. These are both Hobie Toucan. I'm gonna use this sage green color. And I feel like this is just like the perfect body color. It's like a really light tan, neutrally color. So I'm very excited. I'm also watching the heiress to her live stream because honestly, what else would I be watching? I'm kind of losing hope that she's gonna announce Reputation Taylor's version. And just like always, people on TikTok are trying to convince me that she's gonna announce Reputation Reputation Taylor's version, so I guess future editing Annie will have to confirm. Not that you need me to confirm though, because let's be real, like you'll probably know. <laughs> okay, time for me to get started. Okay, now I'm confusing myself because originally I thought that a classic turtle would be a green shell and a brown body, but isn't it technically the opposite? It would be a brown shell and a green body, I think. We're gonna go with that. We can always do a reversed one, but let's do a green, oh my gosh, I'm already getting myself confused again. A green body and a brown shell. Perfect, we're gonna do that. I'm working on the little turtle head right now. And Remy is on his cat tree. I don't know if you can see him up there, but he's just going ham on whatever the blinds, I guess. So that's lovely. You guys, I think I might have a new favorite crochet pattern. Look at this. How have I never made one of these turtles before? This was so fast and look at how cute he is. He's just so tiny and it was so quick to do. And this is just the cutest thing. And I have so many ideas for all the different turtles I can make. Like the designer of this pattern has a challenge over on her Instagram where basically it's like a different type of turtle every day. So like, you know, it's like a different theme. So you make a Disney themed one. I'll have to link them in the description, but I've seen people make these turtles and do one for like each era of Taylor Swift's music. And I think that's super fun. I don't know. I just have so many ideas now, but I love how quick these are. I love how adorable it is. Like, look at this. But I don't know. Now I'm thinking maybe we should do the reverse of this one, like a brown body in the green shell, since clearly I couldn't figure out the difference. Why not? Why not do it? They're so quick and I'm sure we're going to make a bunch more. So let's do it. So I think it's been about 45 minutes and I finished the inverted version of our next turtle. So here he is. You're gonna have to let me know which one you like better. I can't tell. To me, this feels like a classic turtle. But then when I look at this one, I feel like this is also a pretty classic turtle. So let me know what you think. Which one do you like better? I love them both, honestly. I'm just in love with this pattern, if you couldn't tell. But I do have an idea for our next turtle. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those colors out of my little crochet office. Okay, I'm back. This is the color palette I'm thinking for our next little turtle. You probably know by now that I love a good pastel rainbow, so that's the plan. And then I think doing the body in yellow would be really fun, and then the rainbow shell, so that's the plan. Okay, I just have to show you this one because I cannot handle it. Look at the colors. Oh my gosh, and with the yellow, I'm obsessed with this one. This is my new favorite. <laughs> 
There's just something about the rainbow colors that is so fun to me. I just love it for summer too. I think it is so cute. I'm thinking about making these into some keychains too, like adding a little keychain to the top. I feel like that could be cute. But I definitely want to do another one of these and maybe we'll do like this green color for the body right here and this same rainbow. I just think this is so fun. And now I want to make some sea turtles with this. I just love this color combination so much. Okay, here's a better view of him and his cute little face but I just love these colors. It's like a little snow cone on top of the turtle. It's probably pretty obvious, but I'm having too much fun with this right now. I'm trying to be more proactive about giving my hands a rest so that I don't end up getting a bunch of pain. So we've made three so far, and I think that's a good stopping point for right now, but I'm so excited to keep crocheting. I can hardly contain it. I'm definitely looking forward to making a rainbow style turtle soon. Hello again. I made a few more turtles. I wanna show them to you really quick. This first one is sort of like the last one that we did but he has a mint green body. I really love these rainbow ones. I just think they're so fun in summary, but I'm really excited to show you the next one that I did. It's a little strawberry turtle, and I just love how this one turned out. If you are curious, I used key lime and bubble gum of Premier Parfait Chunky. So now we can add those to the collection behind us. You can see a few of them up here on my shelf, but I'm really excited right now because I just got a huge order of yarn in, and I feel like we can make a bunch of different combinations of turtles with it, so I'm going to show it to you really quick. So this entire entire box is filled with yarn and it's all premier parfait chunky because we know that's my favorite so i got a few of this cornflower color i think it's called and i feel like these would be really fun to make a blueberry turtle with so that definitely has to be done during this video and then of course i just got some of this classic toffee toffee yeah oh my gosh there's so many fun colors in here i had to get some pale gray for my pigeons you know i love my pigeons I also got some more teddy bear because I was running low on this color and you'd be surprised how much a chocolate brown comes in handy in your yarn stash. I use it all the time. And again, some dark gray for my pigeons, as you might've guessed. And then I got bubblegum and hibiscus. I love these colors so much. I think they're just so pretty. Like I love that vibrant pink. Lilac, I'm running low on lilac. So this is gonna be perfect. Okay, tangerine is the next one. And then I'm really excited about these two because I've never tried this before, but these are the parfait chunky neons. And just look at how bright these are i feel like it would be super fun to make some neon turtles with this like maybe we could do a green turtle with an orange shell like this or one with a pink shell like this i don't know these are just so pretty i think we had to get cream of course and then last but not least i got some of this blue which is going to be for my pattern that is coming out in august i'm very excited to start working on that so needless to say we have a ton of yarn to start working on our next turtles and honestly i really have no idea where to start i'm really gravitating though towards this this is just so cool. I wish you could see it in person. I'm not sure if the camera is picking up just how lime green this is, but I think it's really pretty and perfect for a little turtle. I'm gonna have to put some thought into this. Maybe I need to go scour Instagram and see what kind of cute turtles other people are making and we'll use that for some inspiration because I have too many ideas right now. There are just too many ideas in my head. Just to show you what the yarn situation is looking like from my perspective. It's a little crazy, a little crazy, but we need to get it put on that shelf. Hello, I'm back. It's been a couple of days and I gotta get cracking on some of these little turtles. So I'm really excited to pick back up, but I just had an idea and I have to share it with you. So if you don't know already, I've been obsessed with watching Taylor Swift and just the Eras tour in general on live streams lately. I don't know what it is. It's just really nice to have on in the background while I'm working. And honestly, one of the most fun parts about watching the tour has been seeing what 1989 outfit she's gonna wear because she has a bunch of different combinations and it's like a two piece set that she can change the color of so I thought it would be really fun to make some turtles kind of inspired by those colors like I'm pretty sure she has each piece of the set in purple blue yellow green orange there might be another color too but I do have like the perfect orange and green and I'm just dying to try out this neon yarn so I think we're gonna start by making a green turtle with an orange shell and then just go from there and maybe just do some other turtles that are inspired by the outfits from the 1989 set of the tour so we're just gonna do that and I'm also watching the live stream at the same time and today when I'm watching she's wearing the orange top and the pink bottom I think but I just love the color so much So maybe we need to make a turtle with those color combinations, too I don't know We just need to get cracking because I want to make a bunch more turtles this week This yarn is so bright that it's seriously starting to hurt my eyes from crocheting with it But I did just finish this little turtle and I love these colors together. I love the bright combination I just think it's so fun, but look at how cute he is. I just love this also do you like my new nails? I just got the them done. They're like chrome. I think they're pretty fun. I'm thinking next maybe we should do a green and pink or a pink and orange. I haven't decided yet. 
I decided to go sit by the pool and make a couple more turtles. So I just got back and I want to show them to you really quick. The first one is this pink and green one. I think I mentioned I wanted to do something like this earlier. I think it came out really cute and I want to do another one now that's kind of like a watermelon version of this one. I feel like that'd be cute if we added like some little black stitches onto it to make it look like it has seeds or something. And then the other one that I made was with this yellow yarn. This is from that Parfait Chunky limited edition. Like I want to say it's called like summer squash or something. It might be fun to add a little leaf to this one and make him a little lemon turtle but I love these and I'm glad I got two more in today. I think that brings my total to three turtles today and I think we only have a few more days left of this challenge at this point so I'm curious to see how many more I can get done and then after that we're going to round up all the turtles and see how many I made in total. So I feel like this week has just been so super crazy. I've been so busy getting a pattern prepped for testing, which I haven't even shown you yet, but I guess I can show you right now. But they're these really cute little lobsters and it actually comes with the pattern to make a party hat for the lobsters. This is going to be my pattern that is released in August. And I gave it the party hat because August is my birthday month. I'm a Leo and so is my husband. And I just thought it would be fun to add a little hat where its little antennas can come through. I thought that was super funny. So this is the pattern that I've been working on all week while we're also doing the turtle. So I'm really excited to get the tester call up and running for this very shortly. So with that out of the way, now you know why I've been a little bit busy behind the scenes while we're doing this challenge video. But with that being said, I still am hoping to crochet at least one more tofu turtle. And I do have a color scheme in mind. I'm thinking we should do like a lilac and a dark purple turtle, like a lilac body and then the dark purple shell. So that's kind of what I'm thinking and I figure we should just do it right now before I let it get away from me. So I think it's about a day later and I finished the purple turtle so I had to show them to you. I love this one and I definitely plan on making more of these. I think it'd be really fun to make a little grape turtle by adding a tiny stem and a little leaf or something but I love these colors so much. This is Hobie Toucan and I shared this in my crochet favorites video recently but I just love this yarn so much. It's really nice to work with and I just feel like it's a little more sturdy. I know I said that in the video but it's so nice. So this is our final turtle of the week so I think now we we need to just go through all the turtles that we made and see what our final count is because honestly I have not counted yet. So I think these were the first two that we made. So we have two and then we did these two rainbow ones these two right here. So that's four. I still just really love these guys so much. These might be some of my favorites. I think they are so pretty. Just look at the colors. They're so fun. After that, we made a strawberry turtle, which is number five. Number six is the little blueberry turtle. These have so many little fluffs from all the polyfill that's on them. So hopefully it's not picking up too much on camera because I haven't like de-fluffed them yet. Then we made our little neon Eras Tour 1989 inspired turtles. I have these three that I made by the pool we have the yellow and green the orange and green which I just think is so fun I really love these colors the fluff is just fluffing it is everywhere and then we also have the pink and green and then of course we have the purple one that I just made so what is that so let me count because I don't think I actually counted I want to see if I can hold them all probably not okay so here they all are I just counted and we made 10 turtles which I'm actually very happy about because like I mentioned earlier it was really a crazy week I showed you my lobster pattern that is going to be coming out soon and that was honestly my priority this week so squeezing in 10 extra turtles honestly it's pretty good in my opinion and just in case I didn't mention this already I am going to have the turtle pattern linked in the description I do really recommend this pattern if it isn't already super obvious I've had so much fun working on these and it's just a really well written pattern and there's so many different ways that you can change up the turtles whether you make them into fruit turtles or little rainbow turtles I believe the design also just came out with a bunch of modifications for a ton of different turtles that you can make like a sushi turtle, a UFO turtle, an ice cream turtle, a cheeseburger turtle, and it just goes on and on. So that would be a really fun thing to try too. One thing that I do really want to try in the future is to do little blind boxes with these turtles inside and just make a bunch of different types of turtles. And using that modification pack from the designer, I think it would be fun to make like one of each and put them all into blind boxes and sell them at a market 
Target or on Etsy. And I just think it would be so fun to buy one and then to open it up and not know what you're getting. Because if you don't already know, I am a sucker for little blind boxes like Sunny Angels. I just love them so much. I think it's so fun to open them and be surprised with what you're getting. So that's definitely an idea for the future that I would love to try. But in the meantime, I am gonna have these turtles that I made in today's video up on my Etsy. If you do want to adopt any of them, I will have them up on my Etsy, which is always linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video and spending a little bit of time with me this week. As always, I really enjoyed it and I had so much fun with you. So I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.